States. Robert Sherman's on the border right now with how the cartels continue to take advantage of the situation. Hi, Robert. Hey there, Leland. And the Big Bend sector is known as being one of the less traveled portions of the border. That's because it's also known for being one of the most treacherous, the desert and mountainous landscape. But that's not stopping people from coming through. Take a look at this new video that we just got from the Texas uh, Department of Public Safety. You see 32 migrants dressed in camouflage trying to evade law enforcement. That video is coming from the Texas DPS helicopter. And as you were talking about, Leland, it's pretty easy to try to try and paint the border all with one single stroke and to act as though it's all the same everywhere. But that's not the case. Let's take Arizona, for example. So on the left, you see Yuma, Arizona. And here you see the imagery of families walking across the Colorado River, giving themselves up to law enforcement. They tell us there that they're totally overwhelmed with trying to process all of these asylum cases. Now you look at that video on the right, and that's the imagery that you see there. It's car chases, it's human smuggling cases, it's drug trafficking cases. That's over in Bisbee, Arizona, in the southeastern portion of the state. So different scenes from all over the place. Going back to that video that you're looking at right now, 32 migrants running through the desert, clad in camouflage. That's what law enforcement tells us are telltale signs of people who are not seeking asylum in the United States. Leland? Because if you seek asylum, you come over and say, hi, I'm here to seek asylum. Uh, Robert Sherman on the border. Robert, thank you very much. We understand the Texas troopers caught up with the people you just showed in that video. Obviously, it's not always the case. Uh, hundreds of thousands of migrants make it into the country every year without every ever crossing past with law enforcement. We never have the pictures of that, but so often that's where you see all of the trafficked fentanyl uh, coming from. Those are where the smugglers go through, and obviously the cartels know this, so they oftentimes will have huge groups of migrants come across, turn themselves into Border Patrol, just to be able to get a few people across that do not turn themselves in. That's what we learned when we were down on the border. Lieutenant Chris Oliveris, Texas Department of Public Safety, uh, with us now. Lieutenant, uh, good to see you, sir. Uh, it feels like for how many of the people that you catch on the helicopter with camouflage clothing and the like, how many then get away? Right, so good evening, Lee. So that area right there, Big Bend sector, is an area obviously that many people are not aware of what's taking place there. The activity that's being, that we're seeing in that area, there we're seeing individuals that are traversing, you know, for days, up to weeks, uh, from Mexico along the mountains, a very desolate area, wearing camouflage clothing. And of course, they're trying to get away from us, from our helicopters, from our Border Patrol agents as well. So it's a very uh, treacherous area to work. And you see what you saw there in that video, 32 immigrants that were apprehended by ourselves, by DPS, our aircraft operations division, as well as Border Patrol, wearing all camouflage clothing. But also we're seeing drugs. We're seeing drugs come across that area as well, because these drugs are a lot easier to be to go undetected, especially in these kind of areas, because the infrastructure is not there, the technology is not there, cameras, sensors are not in those areas because of the vast area that, that we're seeing right now. So, of course, criminal organizations take full, you know, they take, they exploit that situation, they exploit their responsibilities on those areas. So, uh, is, generally speaking, the people who are coming across in these areas, if they're willing to spend, spend days or weeks in camouflage and trying to sneak in, what's the difference between those people? Uh, and those who just come across the Rio Grande behind you and say, hi, I'm, I'm here and I'd like to claim asylum. Right. Right, so the, the vast majority that we see along the river, especially in Del Rio and the Rio Grande Valley are the, the migrants that are coming across, the families, unaccompanied children. But the single adults, when we talk about the gotaways, that's what we're talking about. These groups, that's what we're referring to, the gotaways. If we weren't able to apprehend those individuals, that's also another part of the gotaways that are taking place that we don't know about. Also, the unknown gotaways that go undetected. So these are individuals that are not trying to seek asylum. They're trying to avoid apprehension. You see right there on that video that they're running from us. Even when we have a helicopter overhead, they're still trying to make that effort to get away from law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Uh, Title 42 uh, stays in place. We were actually going to be down there today had Title 42 uh, been lifted for this, this flood of people that was uh, supposedly or still is in, in northern Mexico waiting to come across. We heard hundreds of thousands of people waiting. Are they still waiting or are you all expecting them to start coming across in the coming weeks? So what we know right now, just by intel that we have with our federal partners as well, was, uh, we're also working with the Mexican authorities in Mexico. 
along the border. We do know there is groups that are gathering. There is thousands of migrants that are gathering in Mexico right now. Now, of course, what's going to happen as far as when they're going to try to make this journey and try to get across the river is, remains to be seen. But we're still seeing groups come across the river. And these are your groups that we see on a typical basis. The numbers speak for themselves. The numbers have not changed. Right. Um, there's been record number after record number every single month, not just with immigrants coming across, but also criminals and suspected terrorists and drugs that are coming across the border as well. And obviously, you have to assume that for every every big group that the helicopter picks up, there may be another couple of groups somewhere else that they know there's only a limited number of helicopters that they put across. Behind you uh, is the Rio Grande River. On the other side, it appears, is the Mexican uh, federal police and the like. Uh, have they stepped up and are starting right. to do anything? Or is it is it largely what you and I saw back in September where the Mexican uh, police were pretty ineffective? Well, they are taking a more aggressive stance now, and that's all because of the pressure that we've been able to put on them. And it all started with when Governor Abbott signed those historic agreements with the governors of Mexico, but also our leadership, our state leadership at, within the agency are having conversations consistently with Mexican authorities as well, trying to surge their resources along the border. We're even allowing them to put up some type of barbed wire, some type of infrastructure along the border where we see increased crossings taking place so we can work together to try to control those areas. And right now it is effective, but again, it also remains to be seen how long can we sustain what's taking place right now. And we got to continue putting the pressure, not only the federal government, but also with our Mexican uh, authorities as well to work together and have these binational operations that, we are being, that we've been doing throughout the weeks. Yeah, no, Operation Lone Star was meant to sort of be this emergency stopgap, and now it's become uh, the normal. You make a great point right. just in terms of sustainability of, of men and hours. Hey, Lieutenant, it was good to see you, sir. Thank you, as always. Good to see you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.